Okay, so I'm just gonna raise a scenario here and I think this is one everyone's experienced. So we have a team, it can only do so much stuff, but no matter how big that team is, how much we do, there's more work coming in that can be handled. It doesn't even matter that we improve the performance of the team because that just means they add more stuff. Um, this is how people typically deal with that. They try to slice up all the work um, because it gives this illusion of progress. Everyone says, hey, my stuff is moving, A's moving, B's moving, C's moving. Um, and because of that illusion, then we think this is the best way to do things. So I'm gonna just try to destroy that illusion right now and show it like if we just serialize the works, so we do this differently, um, we actually finish things faster. Um, so in this case, you can see that A finishes dramatically faster than it did previously, and um, C, even though it's near the end, is still pretty close. Um, and this doesn't, like I also included there the context switching costs. This is a more complicated graph, but what we're showing here is that the more projects you do at the same time, just the, more, the less time you actually have to spend on each project. Just because we're not, like, uh, we're not like an actual computer, we don't switch at the same rate. If you see this kind of problem when we're dealing with uh, physical items, like boxes moving uh, physical gear, you can tell when you're, you're engaging this kind of behavior because you get piles of stuff and people get crushed by falling things because they make mistakes. Um, our problem is we deal a lot with this kind of uh, information knowledge work. We can't see when something's l um, piling up. Um, so um, some will just have these crazy ideas, you have to deal with it, and everyone's just sitting there. They look okay, but they're actually kind of stoned because they don't know how to deal with the extra workload. You can't pick that up. So the first step really is to try to visualize it. You want to expose the work so we can see the pileups um, in a different form. So in this case, um, we really just have a, a model here showing all the steps that we'll go through and we have representations of all the things that people are shoving in to do. Um, the next step is to limit how much things we're going to allow to be happening at the same time. Now this is a, a very hard step because people say, well, doesn't that mean I get less stuff done? No, because we already went through it. Um, doing less things actually means we finish things faster. Um, that's just how it works. So in order to try to explain this a little bit better, I'm gonna use a, a simple example here. This is a kind of a software development example, but any process that has any degree of sophistication, um, you can use the same thing. So in this case, it all looks hunky-dory. Uh, people are building stuff and they're deploying, meaning they're just releasing a product that they've built. The interesting happens when um, it doesn't work. So you, you get a problem, it's stopped, Okay, what happens, right? So I can't do more stuff because I have a limit on how much I'm gonna allow to be worked on at the same time. So instead, I have to actually go and help the other person try to finish things, right? And that this just kind of works its way down. So um, the other person, like maybe you can't always stack everyone on on something. So um, it turns out that even if I just tell people, you know, go off and play Xbox or something, that's better than them working on more things which just causes trouble later on. And this can flow all the way up to even when um, let, let's say you're a requester, so whoever you're working with, your client, your customer, um, they themselves will also have to uh, accept that they can't just shove more things in, it actually doesn't help anybody. Um, that the progress is just an illusion. A nice effect of this is that it creates a culture where instead of we do the kind of over the wall, no, not my problem, I did my bit thing, we actually have to help each other out. Because now that we've limited the amount of things we allow in our system, um, we have to work together to finish things so that more things can come in. Now, if you set a system like this up, um, the problem that you invariably occurs is you wanna think, when I put something in, how long is it gonna take to finish? So um, the way to deal with that is, is pretty much like the, what Disneyland does. Um, you know, I don't know if you ever see the signs, they say, how much time from here um, will it take? So if I actually measure when my work is starting and finishing, I can get a bit of a distribution, and I have a range for how long I expect things to take. And you'll get exceptions, those will be outliers, but. Um, you'll know and you can just say it'll take from uh, a one to three days. Um, and I break it down to different categories. So if I have different types of work of different sizes, I can give ranges for how things take and then that's about it. Um, things move along as they do. We don't focus that on, it, on that anymore. We just need to work, work, figure out how to break the work down and then we just measure to see how long things take. Um, in order to, like work isn't, there are different types of things that might come in. Like people might say, I need something by a particular date or this is an emergency, so you need to somehow violate the rules, if you will. Sometimes you have to shove stuff in. So you may reserve different lanes for things as well. Um, and probably a key thing is that it's not just putting these limits and, and working this way, but also when you have trouble, when you have that deployment problem at the end, you have to actually think about why did that occur and do this kind of root cause analysis and figure out what to do to fix it. So I'm just gonna end off with my final point here, which is sort of the main thing to get out of this is that 
the doing lots of stuff at the same time is not helping anyone. If, even if it's just your own stuff, it doesn't help. It doesn't work. What you want to do is just finish things. Thank you.